So after many requests, I'm pleased to finally announce that we've dropped the oversized heavyweight t-shirt mock-up, and this is how to use it. <laughs> So the first thing you need to do is download the source files. There's a link in the description for that. So if you open up that, once you've downloaded it, you'll see that you have this file structure. So you've got the t-shirt at the top and so on. We're gonna to get to the other ones in a minute, but first thing we'll do is we'll open up the t-shirt folder. Blender is for free. So if you haven't already downloaded that, you can download that for free. Again, link in description. And while you're at it as well, you may as well go and get PhotoP ready as well if you're not gonna be using Photoshop. PhotoP is a good alternative if you don't have an Adobe subscription. So when you open up the file, you'll see that you've got your model here all ready to go. We've got a few different things going on. What I'm gonna to talk to you about first is this section over here on the right. So we've got the t-shirt, obviously, and then we've got the scene, and that's got the lighting. So if I hold command and scroll out, I'm on a Mac, it might be slightly different for you if you're on a PC. Um, but if you, you can scroll out and you can move around just to see what's going on, and you can see that obviously this scene is built up. Um, and then we can go to the room. So the lights obviously are top and bottom, We've got the room as well. And again, if you wanted to switch that on or off, you could. Um, and then we've got the camera as well. So we've got various different cameras as well. And I'll walk you through those in a second shortly as well. So first things first, we're gonna go and have a look in a different view setting. So this will give you a little bit more of an idea of what it's gonna look like, but it's not the full render. That would just take ages to load but it gives you a better idea of what's going on. So we've also got this anim built-in animation as well that I'm scrolling through at the top. So that rotates it. That's really useful for a few different things. So it's lovely to have that animation of it spinning, but also if you wanted to reposition it with the camera at like halfway, so you wanted to like get the back at a slight angle or the sleeve like that, then you could do with that, it's quite handy. We're gonna to go to the camera now and you can select which cam you want. You'll see that it has like a little highlight behind it, slightly ghosted. That will determine which camera you're gonna use for the render. So we then, if we wanna see what that looks like, you can click this and this will give you that camera view as well. So we're gonna go for, let's go for the straight on, straight on view. And like I said, this is our view. So if I wanted to render out just an image of the back or like a slight angle, then I could just drag this slider along to here and that'd do it nicely. And as mentioned, you know, the room, the environment is really nice, but if you wanted to switch that off, then all you need to do is click this little checkbox and that will disable both of them for the render and your view. And then that would just come out as like a transparent PNG. You still have your lighting top and bottom. Um, so the garments all lit up nicely because if you did turn that off, then you know, you're not gonna be able to see anything. And I'll go to the other render there so you can see a little bit more of what's actually going on it's pitch black so if i turn on the lights then obviously that illuminates the garment nicely for you let's go ahead and update the artwork on this at the moment we're in the scene we want to go to clothes so we're going to go to the t-shirt you'll see that here we have some little little tips on how to use this and what needs to be done depending on the style of artwork you're looking to add so for example on the hoodie that we released recently a couple of people were doing like a white hoodie with really light artwork and it wasn't showing up very well. So we've made a couple of tweaks and there's a couple of guides here on what to do in certain circumstances. If it's not coming out quite how you want, then have a little look around on these and hopefully they'll point you in the right direction. And if not, we're always here for customer support 24 seven. So just shoot us a line if you're struggling and we'll be more than happy to help you. So we're gonna go and add in our artwork. So what we wanna do is go to this area here also, it's worth noting that if you're struggling and you can't find and you can't see this right now, then you need to just make sure that you're in T-shirt main text. That's the one that we want to be in for editing. While we're in here, we could change this. So this is the collar color. And at the moment, it's set to yellow. I'm going to switch that because at the moment it's here. I'm going to switch that to just be black. And then I'm going to go in and you can see that that uh, main text isn't there. Blend is really annoying, doesn't let you scroll down, so I just have to use the keypad to go down. And I'm gonna go back into main text there. Now I wanna add in my artwork. So I need to go in here and click this folder. I'm gonna click OK, and that has now updated this icon to a little folder, so I can go in there and add my artwork. Now I need to go in and set up my artwork. So I'm gonna to go to Photoshop, 
You might be going to Photopea in this example, but as I said, I'm gonna to go to Photoshop. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna minimize Blender, and I'm gonna go and open up the print. So we've got print color and we've got print white. I'm gonna go for the print color because I'm gonna add a little bit of color to this. So when I open that up in Photoshop, and also I'm gonna go back to the folder, I'm gonna put on this UV empty file as well, and I'm gonna use this as a guide. So the best way to look at this is this is like cut fabric ready to be sewn into the garment as if it was in like a factory being made into the actual garment. So a couple of guides to follow. You don't wanna to be too close to the seams because it will go like right in and look a bit, a bit odd. Um, but also we've got all these areas that you wouldn't usually be able to customize on like the Photoshop mockups, for example, which are around the collars and on this, you know, on these detailed necklines and stuff and along the cuffs and so on, you know, all these things that we can add our artwork to if we really wanted to. So there's quite a few things you can do with this. You could essentially do anything with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add in my artwork and I'm going to drop it in as a shape layer. I personally just prefer to use shape layers. I just feel like it enables you to kind of scale things up and down without it getting pixelated too much. So I'm going to put that in there, roughly in the center. So we've got the front on the left, the back on the right. And with regards to the sleeves, imagine that this is facing onwards. So you've got the left sleeve here and you've got the right sleeve here, if it was facing the front t-shirt. So let's go and get in some chest artwork. I'm going to paste that in as well. And that can go there. So this, I want to add a bit of color to this bit now. So I'm going to bring this in here. I'm going to scale it up to the size that I want. And this, I want a nice vibrant orange. Round about, round about there. There we go. We also want to put on some sleeve artwork and that is about the same size as the chest print. So I'm going to go and put that slightly to the side of just slightly off center because I want it just in front. I don't want it right down the side, right down the seam. So now all my artwork is in place. I can go over here to the layers and I can hide that top layer. Um, I need to change the color of that because I don't want that orange, I want that white. And then I have everything in place. So now I can go and hide that UV empty file. And then I want to save this down as a PNG. So I'm going to go save. Now I'm going to go up to PNG 24. Keep the sizes as they are. Don't mess around with any of that. Just keep that as it is. And then I'm going to go and save that down. So instead of color, I'm going to change this to design because that's my artwork. And essentially that's it for now. I've got all my artwork in position and that's ready to go. So I can go back into Blender. So I'm going to go and click on this folder and locate the artwork. So at the moment it's come straight up because I've got my, I'm working from my desktop and it's already loaded up there. So you just need to locate the file where you've saved it. Click open image. And now you can see that that's added the artwork on. I'm going to go to a slightly faster view for this as well. So you can see that with this, I've probably gone a little bit too big on the artwork on the back. So it's kind of gone around the fabric, which is great. You know, it's lovely that it does that. But I think for presentation purposes, it's slightly too big, but that's not a problem because we can go in and change that. So I'm gonna go and resize the artwork, get those two layers. I'm just gonna scale them down slightly. And then again, I might turn that on just so I can see where it's gonna sit. Probably about right. And then I'm gonna go and save that down again. And then I'm gonna jump back into Blender and we just need to update that again. So again, same process, click that like icon, hit okay. You get your folder pop up, go into there, highlight the design file, and there you go, artwork's added in. Looking lovely, that's much better. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, I'm gonna go to my camera view now, and you can see that that's nicely positioned in there. So let's go to this camera, get that nice sleeve shot. I think that looks really nice. I might rotate it round slightly, get that nice view there. I think that looks really nice. Maybe a bit more of the back print in there too, you know, things like that. And this is it, you can just play around with it and get it how you want it to be. And you can see all these real nice heavy textures in there as well. So now we wanna start rendering this down. Quick and easy way to do it, hit render, go to render image, and that's it done. Um, if you wanted to add an animation, you just need to tweak that. So we've got over here, you see this little printer icon, hit on that and then go down to output. And this is where you can add your animation. You then want to go down, tweak a couple of settings um, and, you know, get it to how you want. 
change the size of it as well. So it's 1200 by 1200 as standard. You could change that to 1080 by 1920, whatever it is you need to do. It's all customizable. And then when you go to render, go to render animation. So depending on your machine, it might be really fast or it might take ages and you might need to let it just tick overnight or tick along for the evening while you watch something on Netflix or whatever. But um, that's it for the animation. And then it will save down and that's it. Good to go. So it's nice and easy for you guys to use intentionally. This is for beginner level. It's for people that just want to get stuff presented really quickly and efficiently to their clients. Um, it's people that want to showcase stuff on their website as well. So hopefully this brings you great success. We always love to see what you've made using our products. So don't forget to tag myself and Igor, the creative as well, who put this pack together. He's done a fantastic job on it. And in the meantime, see you guys in the next video. Thanks.